It took stakeholders as much as two years to have the four sites declared as heritage sites. There have been calls by a number of non-governmental and civil society-based organizations for legislators to quicken the pace at which this has been done. However, the ministry says it is not a process that can be hastened. Heritage Officer Michael Jessamy says it needs to be understood that to declare a site or property a national heritage site, it involves a chain of events. A lot of work has to be done. It's a process. We have to get out there. We have to get the surveys. We have to get the, um, the gazetting. We have to get the description. So it's a slow process and um, it's sad that we haven't got more, but you know, we are trying. He says the plan is to have at least 10 sites declared by next year. The tourism minister, Brenda Hood, says discussions are ongoing with government's legal team. These are discussions that we have had all the time. And uh, eventually, uh, there, are, there is legislation, but what we need to do is to review and amend. And these are issues that we are looking at at this time. Sites and landmarks slated for consideration ranges from colonial forts and coastal batteries, military and historical buildings, natural sites, shipwrecks, archaeological sites, estate houses, slave pens and windmills. They have taken into consideration 22 specific areas, including the financial complex on the Carinage, Caribs Leap at Certes, Telescope Point, Knox House, amongst others. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.